My name is Armed First Class Kyle Alvarez, and I want to show you the house that I can afford because of the U.S. Army. Come on in. Now this house is off base housing. When you go to an installation and you're married and you can start figuring out where you want to live, one of the options is on base housing or off base housing. We picked this house, it's a great community, it's in a cul-de-sac, and we're right across the street from the schoolhouse for my daughter, she's six. And we really like the energy of this place, but this is a 2,000 square foot house. It's a three bedroom, two bath uh, kind of house. And I'll show you the master bedroom first. So this is the master bedroom. Uh, this is where the wife and I stay. It's our quiet corner for, for our kids. So one of the things that we do is we let them, when they get upset, if they want to have some space, they can go there and they have their dolls. And then uh, this is our walk-in bathroom with a walk-in closet. That would be the tub that I normally uh, bathe my kids in, but our dog has uh, taken that for themselves. So this is a walk-in closet, which my wife loves. Uh, it's more for her than for me, but obviously I got clothes here too, but this is definitely more of a space for my wife. We have our living room. One of the things that we loved about this was the archway, and that was a beautiful thing, but we have our couch that we've taken with us on a couple, two assignments now. And the Army, whenever you move, they will pay to move all your stuff. Uh, uh, very little money usually comes out of pocket. Sometimes if you do, it's because you want to take more stuff or because you have pets and that kind of thing. That's usually like the big extra cost. But the DOD actually did pass a new bill recently where they're now actually paying more money for your pets to travel with you. Up to $2,000 for an overseas move. I'm grateful that soldiers now get that opportunity to have that. It's one less financial burden they got to work with uh, when they move. Uh, but yeah, so that's our living room. This is the playroom that me and my wife built for our, for our daughter and our son and it's a great space for them to play. And another reason we like this house is because we just wanted them to have their own space. Probably for our sanity too, because as we all know, children like to make a mess everywhere and we wanted the mace to be isolated right here, but they have a great time and we're trying to do more stuff. But I mean, uh, I, I would say we're very blessed with the uh, amount of money that we get in the US Army uh, being in for 11 years now and, and my children don't want for nothing, and I'm very grateful for that, especially being a first-generation immigrant. My parents came uh, from Cuba and South America. So to kind of see where I'm at now, being a dad where I was at my children's age, it's kind of a blessing, right? It's something you never really realize, but here, here we are, and I can give them a life that I, I actually never thought I could. And over here we have my children's room. So my daughter sleeps here, my son sleeps here. Uh, great space for them and uh, we're really grateful to have a three bedroom house here. Guest bathroom. And then this is the office that my wife and I share. She's an opera singer and she gives voice lessons and she actually just got hired to be the voice director for a theater company at the local uh, Augusta uh, company. So we, we share this space. I have my office space and my army stuff that I'm proud of and she's got her space. And we share this, we share this place. And don't forget to get the sword that I brought back from England. That was my, one of my gems that I brought back with me. And lastly, uh, in the house, this is our kitchen. Uh, one of the reasons that stood out to us besides the archway was granite countertops that my wife absolutely loved. Yeah, it's also the biggest kitchen that I've ever had with being married to my wife. Uh, and one thing, if you guys don't mind, I do show. This is a collection of all the places that me and my wife have been since I've been in the U.S. Army. From when we were dating to when we got married, went to Napa Valley for our honeymoon, but every place we've been to in the Army, we've taken a little memento with us and uh, hopefully one day we'll be able to fill the rest of this up. This is, uh, I got a game ready to go tonight with a friend of mine. He's coming over and we're gonna kind of hobby together and enjoy after work activities with a fellow soldier and it's a great bonding experience. And the third thing that really stood out to us when we got this house is this backyard. 
So we have a wonderful patio, the hammock that we always take with us everywhere we go because you gotta have a hammock. But with our kids growing up, I have a six and three year old, having this space was a really big deal for us because for the last, uh, my first house that with my wife, we didn't really have a backyard on base. The last house we had in England had a nice backyard, but kind of small. And now we've upgraded. And so the kids run around, you can see the soccer balls in the grass and the trampoline in the pool. And a lot of our weekends are spent grilling on the barbecue, hanging out with family in the backyard and just kind of being grateful for everything that we have uh, for us. My name is Sergeant First Class Kyle Alvarez and I'll see you at goarmy.com.